Grace and peace be to you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell of Woman to Woman with Truth That Transforms. Thank you so much for tuning in today to this broadcast. I hope that you're being blessed. And this broadcast really is intended that your life be transformed daily by the things that you hear, not only on this program, but the word that you hear and you know that you're hearing the truth and that has transformed your life and will continue to transform your life. As long as we're living and breathing on this earth till Jesus come, we should always be willing to be changed and transformed by the renewing of our mind. That's what Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. So every day we should be transforming and changing to be in the image of God's Son our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So today, briefly, we're going to be talking about um, coming out of Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Those of you who've been walking with the Lord for some time, those of you who are just new, maybe you never heard of this scripture, but today I pray that you will mark it in your Bible or write it down. And remember, we're coming out of Romans, the first chapter of Romans, verse 16. And the reason why this is so powerful, because this is how you got into the kingdom of God. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and then also to the Greek. So that's our scripture for today. But the topic for the day is God's glorious gospel. Wow. Think about that. The gospel of God, the gospel of his kingdom, the gospel of the good news. That's what gospel means, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when you think about what Romans 1, 16 said, there are some benefits in that scripture. And I just want to give you a few of those benefits, okay? All right. The first benefits of this glorious gospel is that, what do you say? I am not ashamed. You can't be ashamed. If you love Jesus and he saved and rescued you, you can't be ashamed. I don't know about you. When I first got saved, I want everybody to know that I was a new creature in Christ because I hadn't been taught, you know, how to contain it. But when you are free from bondage and sin and degradation, yeah, you're so happy and rejoiceful that you are set free. You can't be ashamed. So that's the first benefit of not being ashamed of this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Because God's only begotten son provided eternal life to those who would believe. It's very clear. This gospel, glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Sin had left the crimson stain, but he washed it white as snow. That's what this glorious, hallelujah, gospel of God is all about. So we have eternal life because of what Jesus did at Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Right? And all we have to do is believe. That's not a rocket science. He did it and you believe it. That's why we who are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ know that that's all he wants us to do is to believe his word, trust his word, have confidence that Jesus is who God said he is and just run with the program, (laughs) so to speak. So, yeah. So that's one of the benefits is that eternal life was yours and ours only if we believe. The second benefit is his grace and mercy are given to us daily. Think about that. Every day, the Lord's mercies are new and his grace is for every day. Like I said, you he may not answer your prayers every day, but he gives you grace for the day. And knowing that if it's lining up with his will, He's going to answer, but in his time, and you know, sometimes we just want God to do things the way we want him to do, but God does it in his own timing. Yes, 
and know that it will get done. Remember this gospel, glorious gospel, glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. This gospel, don't be ashamed. Believe that you have eternal life and believe that Jesus is who God said he is. So that the second benefit is his grace and mercy are given to us daily. Okay, now. I'm going to read Titus chapter 2. Let's go to Titus chapter 2. We're talking about this glorious gospel of God, okay? Jesus Christ. We can't be ashamed of it. We must not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. First of all, we know it is a power to those of us who believe. We have eternal life. And we know that his grace and his mercy are new to us every day. So in the book of Titus, still talking about this glorious gospel, we're going to start at, I think I want to start at uh, verse 11. Yeah, we're talking about this gospel life as a Christian, this glorious, because it is glorious. And in 2 Tim Titus, rather, chapter 2, starting at verse 11 says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. See, so it has appeared to all men. It's what you do with it, whether you accept it and believe it and have eternal life, or whether you reject it and be damned forever. So I pray that you will believe the report of the Lord. Verse 12 said, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world. These are things that we need to do. These are the benefits of that glorious gospel of God. Verse 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us. This is so, that's why it's so glorious. Jesus, hallelujah, gave himself for us that he might, what? Redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. Now, if that ain't glorious, bad language, but glorious, oh my God, that he redeemed us to do what? Good works. Mm, 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 mm. And redeem us from iniquity and purified us that we are peculiar. Are you peculiar today? Do people look at you and say, oh, they peculiar. They all they talk about is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, there has to be a balance in your life. Remember that. Jesus, 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 yes. But sometimes you don't have to say the name. You can just represent him by your actions. Oh, hallelujah to God. So that's another benefit, okay? Okay, number three, the third benefit that I wrote down. If you are willing and obedient, this glorious gospel offers opportunities with rewards and blessings. You want to be blessed? You want some rewards? Simply be obedient. That's all it takes is being obedient to the glorious gospel of God. And num the number fourth benefit that I wrote down, it gives power and it allows you to endure. That's, these are things that this glorious gospel will allow you to do. It will allow you to endure. It sanctifies you daily and gives you the ability to love God. That's what this gospel does. Isn't that marvelous when you think about Look at the benefits that it gives and provides for you and I daily. It's not a one-time thing. It's daily. And hallelujah, give you the ability to love God, the brethren, and even your enemies. Now, that's what this gospel does. You couldn't do it no other way. If you didn't have Jesus Christ, you couldn't love your enemies. God has to put a love in your heart. Yes, and a desire to forgive them as he forgave you. What a glorious gospel this is that we can forgive one another even as Christ has forgiven us. We can love God and we can love others. We can endure the temptations and the testing that comes from the evil one. We are being sanctified daily. That means God is setting us apart daily, getting out all that stuff in us 
Some of us don't even know we have. That's why it's so important to search, search, search yourself. Make sure that you're doing what God has commanded in his word. Remember, he redeemed you from the works of darkness and iniquity. He redeemed you to be peculiar. You can't be like the world. You've got to be different from the world. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. We're just pilgrims passing through. And see, too many people are attached to this world. And if you're attached to this world, you need to get untashed and get un get attached to the world, which we're going to, the world where Christ and the Lord our Father rules and reigns forever. That's where you want your attention to be. That's where you want to go. Amen. So just remember, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is the good news. And it tells you and I what God did and gave us his son. Make sure that your peace, faith, hope, life, and salvation is in Christ Jesus and no one else. Remember, you are not to be ashamed of this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is what redeemed you and I and the benefits we have eternal life. We can rule and reign with God. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell saying, be dedicated to God, be directed by God, be delighted in God, and be diligent for God. And remember, we are supposed to be peculiar people, zealous of doing good works. Think about that this week. Make sure that you're doing good works and make sure that you're not ashamed that you believe what God said as opposed to what the world says. Have a fantastic week today knowing that this glorious gospel that you and I trust and believe is what's going to earn us into heaven just by being obedient. Love you much. Hope you be blessed this week. Thank you for tuning to the broadcast once again. <music>